Okay, so your wife is yeah. actually working with Tyler right now. Yeah, my, my Tyler created a a role for my wife on The Oval, uh, where she's uh, doing her second season, and just just finished. They they did it, you know, post COVID, and and he he, he did all these things. I mean, he kind of created a a kind of a, a an environment like a, a post COVID very safe environment where they shot the entire. Uh, season, right there on his on his uh, his property there. Wow. Yeah, and, and my wife basically had a, a house to herself, mm. like a four thousand square foot house. So, yeah. you know, you say he's the hardest working man you've yeah. ever met, and you you've been around some of the greats. Yeah, there's nobody I've ever seen work harder than Tyler. What do you think, apart from just the hard the hard work ethic? What is it? What quality is it in Tyler? that allowed him to become a billionaire, self-made? I, there was a time where I was wondering why he pushed himself so much. Like, that cat would do three shows, fly off on the weekend, do live, you know, live um, theater shows, and then start the whole process over. Hmm. Tyler and I were friends. You know, I mean, I'm just totally protective uh, of, of my friends. And so I always was concerned. It's like, are you pushing yourself too much? He's been at a, at a rate that I've never seen. I didn't think it was humanly possible because he's writing everything. He's directing. Doing yeah, he said he doesn't do writer rooms. No. He said he actually just writes it all himself. <laughs> you know, anytime yeah. I think that I'm busy, I just shut the hell up. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 crazy. I I don't I don't get it. That's that's it's nothing that I'm ever going to completely understand because I would rather do a third of that and and spread things out. Like I mean, he does back to back to back to back to back. Been on vacations where oh, we're in the Bahamas. What's he doing? He's writing. Yeah, I'm kind I'm of like, the same yo, way. you're still working, dude. Like, yeah, aren't no. you supposed to be? I, I work on vacations. I, I can relate. I can't yeah. just wake up and just watch TV. I got to go check, you know, the statistics, the, the videos, everything. I mean, yeah. I can relate. I don't think I work as hard as him. Yeah. I also don't have as much money as him. You know, yeah, as a protective <laughs> person, you know, always, I'm always, I, that's just who I am. I, I'm i like, uh, let me just, uh, let, uh, this, it, it, bl- it blows my mind. I, I got to not worry about that cat. <laughs> he's, he's doing, he does his thing. Yeah. But it's, Every, but I can't stop. Every time I see him, it's just always like, are you okay? Like, how do you do this? Uh, but he does. He, I, I don't, I, you know. I, well, he loves I, it. He doesn't feel like I, work. I don't understand it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, yeah. and he owns it. He owns this content. And that's, that's the whole thing of like, yo, when you own the shit. Yeah. But- you, it could be repurposed. That's over true. Over and over again. You know, I remember uh, Ebro uh, was on Twitter today and actually responded mm-hmm. to me. He goes, well, you know, even though you own the content, if you don't own the distribution, you're not really in control. And it's like, uh, not exactly. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many distribution platforms now. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we were always on YouTube. But six months ago, Facebook video became a real major thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got on it. And now Facebook accounts for a big portion of our overall revenue. Right. Putting the exact same shit from <laughs> right. our YouTube channel. Right, yeah, yeah. I just they just upload it to Facebook. Yeah. No extra work really. Mm-hmm. At one point Instagram TV is gonna become monetized and we'll start uploading to that as well. Right. Amazon video is mm. uh, you know, something we don't use because it's the the, the 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 actual process is kind of uh complicated, so we don't do that. But there's going to be, you know, all right, if, if YouTube doesn't work, go to Netflix, mm-hmm. go to go to Roku, go to go overseas. Right, yeah. <laughs> go to all like of those streaming yeah. networks in, yeah. in Asia, in yeah. India, and so forth. So really, if you do own the content and, and it really is valuable and you have a real fan base of people that want to listen to it or, or watch it, yo, you're the one that's going to win long term. Oh, absolutely. No one on the Forbes list is there because of their salary. Yeah, not yeah. a single person. Mm-hmm. They're all there because of ownership. Yes. 
whether they have stock in their own companies or in other companies that they've invested in, mm -hmm. it's all ownership stakes. Yeah, man. I would, I would hope people would take what Tyler has done and just kind of apply that to themselves. Yeah. Start, start low. You know, yeah. Start here. Understand your, your fan base and build. Yeah. That's what he did.